where they're fighting to keep their dogs, their service dogs, after the village of Westchester started fining a family for having too many pets on their property. CBS News' Megan Hickey is always investigating. She joins us live from the Village Hall. And Megan, tonight you're asking if the fines are even legal. Right, Brad. Village ordinance says you can't have more than two dogs, but according to federal law, four of those dogs qualify as service animals. So we went to the village for answers. <laughs> they keep a watchful eye on Carrie and John Pat. Three of these mini Australian shepherds are PTSD service dogs. Recommended by a therapist after Carrie's nine months pregnant best friend was tragically shot and killed by her husband in 2012. The fourth service dog is specifically trained to recognize symptoms of Carrie's heart condition. The other two are pets, the maximum number allowed by the village of Westchester. After a neighbor down the street complained back in May, the village started leaving these citations on their door. When the couple appeared for a hearing, they say, they wouldn't let me talk. A judgment issued Wednesday states that the couple failed to provide proof that they're service animals and that they can perform certain special tasks. According to the ordinance, they can be fined $100 a day until they get rid of the surplus dogs. It would probably send my wife to the hospital. Um, I don't know how I would cope. I never knew I would need one. Well, we looked into it, and according to the U.S. Department of Justice, the village can't ask for proof, and there's no requirement for formal documentation. The family can also have as many ADA service animals as necessary. And my husband said, so I want to make sure on the record that you are going against state and federal law. A fact that I brought to the attention of Westchester's city manager. 1.30. After we got involved, he spoke with the couple on the phone. He promised to arrange a meeting Monday to formally acknowledge that they're service dogs. Can we compromise with that? He told us they would wipe out all of the citations and let the couple keep their service dogs. Now, the Illinois Attorney General's office also pointed the couple to those ADA guidelines. The village manager tells me he believes there was a misunderstanding. We'll keep following up to make sure they follow through with their promises. Live in Westchester, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 News. Megan Hickey getting it done this Friday. Thank you, Megan.